If you're looking to grow your live stream audience, one of the best ways to do that is to actually uh, stream out to multiple different platforms at the exact same time. In this video, we're gonna dive in and talk about how you can go live to several different locations all at once with one great piece of software. Let's dive in. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Nick Polkowski and on this channel we talk all things live streaming and how you can use live streaming and video to grow your business. So let's jump in and talk about a software here today uh, that's going to allow you to multi-stream or multi-cast, basically to go live in several different locations on several different platforms all at the exact same time and that software is Caster. Caster is a really great software that does several different things, but today we're gonna to focus specifically on multicasting or multi-streaming and how you can actually go live in several different locations all at once. So let's take a look inside the software. So here we are uh, in Caster, just signed in. Now Caster is the sponsor of today's video and if you head on over to nickpolkuski.com slash Caster, you're gonna be able to uh, go to their page and sign up for a free seven day trial. Um, this is gonna give you a chance to kind of experiment with some of this, test it out, make sure it's right for you uh, before diving in and actually signing up for their subscription service. So on this page right here, we're actually on that seven day trial right now. Um, so I just wanted to kind of show you what that's gonna be like so you get an exact idea of what you're gonna be dealing with. And first you're gonna notice they're, they're uh, already have kind of an improved, a new uh, way of going through and a new look for their service, uh, which is really neat. I love to see when a, a software continues to kind of upgrade and improve. And I think this is much more improved from the way it used to look. Now let's go and hit create new, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit new multi-stream. And then let's do just test, cast, caster. Uh, and then we're gonna go to our region, which yeah, I'm close to Chicago, so let's say there. Now, first let's go and hit add platform. And I'm gonna jump in and we're gonna go live to Facebook. Now you're actually able to set up and connect to Facebook a couple different ways. Um, you can continue with Facebook going this route, or uh, you can add the streaming key the server and streaming key right here. Um, a lot of times I'll go this manual route, but for today, let's go ahead and do this. And once you're connected, you'll be brought back here and then you can go ahead and uh, follow all of these uh, and go to your timeline. And we're gonna go test caster. All right, so now we have Facebook added as a platform, but let's go ahead and add one more platform uh, because we want to be going out to multiple different locations uh, here with Caster. So I'm gonna go ahead and go add a platform and we're going to add a YouTube event and we're going to go connect YouTube events. And it'll take you through a quick little page here to make sure you connect your channel. And it's gonna do that every single time um, at least while you're on the trial. And then once you get here, you're gonna select new event. Now, I already went ahead and created an event ahead of time. That's what I really like to do a lot of times with YouTube, just to make sure I can have all the descriptions and all the settings exactly the way I want them. Um, so if you wanna learn how to do that, I'm not gonna go through that in detail here, but go check out this video right here. Uh, that's a full kind of breakdown on how to schedule a YouTube vid live stream. So we're gonna go here and select the caster test stream. And then everything's kind of entered already. And we're gonna go create platform. All right, and now our YouTube uh, is connected as well. So we have both Facebook and YouTube and we're gonna go ahead and click both of those on. And now you are ready to go out and start streaming. You're gonna basically use, grab the streaming codes here and use in whichever third party system you're, that you're designed to use, that you're set up to use. So something like vMix, Ecamm, uh, StreamYard, a few other ones will allow you to add in, OBS will allow you to add in a custom RTMP stream. So I wanna quickly run you through how to do that with Ecamm. We'll have a future video, a uh, full breakdown on Ecamm and using that as a software, but let's run through it here really quickly. So here's kind of the base of Ecamm. Uh, you can see uh, it's using the camera right here. Uh, I don't have it connected to the full system. Let's even, just so you can kind of see me. Um, so I don't have it connected to the full system. Um, it just, again, using this as a quick demonstration to how to set that up. So over in Ecamm, you have this little custom stream down here. We're gonna click the custom stream and then we're gonna put add a new stream key. 
Now, I have tested this, but uh, so that's why I already had Caster in there. But let's grab, copy that. So you're going to grab the RTMP URL, and you're going to place in the server URL right there. And then you're going to go over here, and you're going to copy the streaming key. And you are going to go in here and paste that streaming key and then click Use Custom Streaming Key, and then you're all set. Then all you have to do is simply go here and hit Go Live. So now we are live on Ecamm. You can see the little Live button up here. Uh, and then if we scroll over, we're going to watch. Now let's get this out of the way. We're going to scroll over and watch right here. There we go. We can see our live preview coming in. You can see right there we are live here. Um, it's going to always be a couple seconds delay, so that's why you're going to notice the little bit of lag here from what I'm saying to you versus what you're seeing there on the screen. Um, but there, we are all set up. We are ready to go, uh, and that's everything you need to do. So now let's go ahead, and, and this really is right here. This really is caster. It uh, can be very simple, can be very straightforward, especially when you're just using the multicasting. You can see up here it's giving us our frame rates. Uh, it's giving us the resolution. It's letting us know uh, the kilobytes per second. Um, you can go ahead and we don't have this enabled, but you can see right here, uh, you can, Caster will actually record to the cloud for you. So you can have that set up to record. You need to upgrade in, and have a subscription in order to do that. You can also get the chat overlay. Uh, so you basically grab this URL right here in order to place the chat kind of in your live stream using a third party software system. Again, like Ecamm, uh, vMix, OBS, things like that will allow you to do a lot of these features. But that's the basics of what Caster is like. So let's go ahead and end this stream right here. So there, and then we ended the stream, and now you can see our, it just kind of died out here, and we'll no longer be sending the signal out this way. There's nothing really you need to do. Uh, you can disable it if you would like, if you'd like to cut it from this end. Um, but otherwise, everything is good here on this side, and uh, you just uh, did your first multicast with Caster. And that really right there, that is Caster. It's pretty simple uh, in terms of operation, in terms of what it does up front, but it's a really great service that it's going to allow you to reach more people. Again, if you want to learn more about Caster, if you want to sign up for the free trial, head on over to nickpolkowski.com slash Caster, uh, and you'll be able to sign up for that seven-day free trial, test it out, see if it works for you. Um, but it really is a great service that I really, uh, really appreciate, it, and I think you should definitely check out. If you want to learn more about getting started with Facebook Live, be sure to check out this playlist right here or head on over and watch our YouTube uh, full tutorial where that walks you through everything about YouTube live streaming. That's going to get you started and I'll see you in the next video.